Facing some pushback, Mayor Adams is defending his safety plans to end the epidemic of gun violence. He insists the reimagined anti-crime unit and other high-tech tools will be effective, not abusive. CBS 2's Marsha Kramer reports. Champ is here. Eric Adams never pulled any punches when he ran for mayor. He said time and time again that he would bring back a new version of the much maligned NYPD anti gun unit as an integral part of his public safety plan. I didn't have a secret of what I was going to do. And yet, when he actually did it in response to a heart wrenching string of gun crimes in the last three weeks, the critics lined up to say he was wrong. Public advocate Jamani Williams asking why we need the new unit when the NYPD is already doing a good job of taking guns. Guns off the streets. 6,000 guns were taken off the streets last year. I think 400 and change this year alone, if I'm not mistaken, or close to. That means we're making gun arrests. That means we're getting historic numbers of guns off the street. That is happening right now. So I do want to know what those units will be focused on that we aren't already doing. During a string of media appearances, Mayor Adams defended the new units, which will be sent to 30 precincts that account for 80% of the gun crimes. He insisted they would not be abusive or racially insensitive. The Reverend Al Sharpton, just one of many voices raising concerns that the new units would bring a return to stop and frisk policing in minority communities. Even though stop and frisk was brought down, never totally went away, we do not want to see the escalation of that. They're going to be real guardrails. Number one, everyone is going to keep their video cameras on. Too many officers were turning off their cameras. We're going to monitor those interactions. We are going to learn from the past so we don't repeat the past. And we will never use, under my administration, any abusive, targeting tactics that goes after people based on their ethnicity and where they live. The mayor also defended a number of other proposals from using facial recognition and other new technologies to identify people who carry guns to changes to bail reform laws and other changes he wants the legislature to enact. One of the mayor's toughest sells may be convincing the legislature about the need to change bail reform laws. Albany lawmakers have voiced open skepticism about the need for change. In Manhattan, I'm Marcia Kramer, CBS 2 News. And Congressman Tom Swasey, who is running for governor, unveiled a plan that called for the restoration of stop, question, and frisk. He said this policy, or rather said that the police policy in the past was abused, but with proper training, it should be used to go after gang members and other known to have guns. Now